and welcome back my beautiful froggy army to another video today i'm trying to make some more progress on storybrook if you're new here storybrook is my new farm core island i have not made that much of a dent in her but today i'm determined to make some more progress because we've been doing good we've been doing good i would very much like to start decorating on this island soon so yeah we're just gonna make some progress and see what we can get done today so come and join me and before you ask yes i am wearing a cow beanie to match with my technosport cow chair it is it is a look to be honest i do have cow print shirts and cow print skirts and like half cow print pants so i am pretty obsessed with cow print not gonna lie but i went with a more just subtle beanie look today i didn't want to go full full moo today <laughs> but if you're interested in this chair this is my favorite chair of all time cutest thing ever if you're obsessed with cow print like me and you either want something to put on your christmas wish list or you're looking to gift something cow print to somebody else who loves cow print um i have a full unboxing and review video of this chair love it so so much so definitely check it out that video is also hilarious <laughs> let me just say the chaos of me unboxing something is just it's always a pleasure and i wanted to let you guys know that the chairs are going to be in stock and shipping on november 29th but anyway let's get into the video let's go ahead and log in here oh, okay rod finally has a house yay <laughs> i'm so excited poor baby didn't have a house last time okay what does tom nook have to say today hello everyone it's Tom Nook. A museum has opened up on Storybrooke. We did get the museum. Business is booming at the shop. Well done, Timmy. I don't know who Tommy is. Oh, Tom Nook, your phone is ringing in the middle of a broadcast. That's kind of awk. That's a little bit awk. Oh, okay. Okay, bye. I totally forget that he does this. He's just like, one sec. Okay, and, and that's it for today, everybody. Okay, so yeah, um, very suspicious phone call. I'm sure we're gonna figure out what that means exactly. I bet it's, oh, hello, cat. Cat, I was in the middle of, of uh, conspiring, but oh yay! Okay, is this the first one that you always learn? I don't know. Thank you, cat. I I appreciate it. Now I know some reactions or one reaction. I think <laughs> is it one? Oh no, I have. Oh my goodness, I got four. I can greet people. I I can be surprised and I can I can clap. That's four the four human emotions that's it oh and i just earned enough nook miles to get another nook mile ticket so i think we can maybe get someone else today okay putting away everything except my tools because if i know anything i'm gonna be forced to do some manual labor around here so might as well be ready okay first of all dailies i'm gonna check the beaches for my message in a bottle diys are very important right now very crucial and I guess while I run around, I should probably shake my trees. Hopefully not get stung. I'm going to pull out my net. I'm not getting stung again. Oh, and I was prepared. Not today. Not today, wasps. Mm -mm. Absolutely not. And again, round two. Me. I win. Not you, wasps. But my... I almost said shovel. My net broke. So they did win. They, you know, they destroyed my personal belongings, which is a crime you know how last episode we were going to take people to jail but i decided against it i think this episode wasps they're going to jail jail for wasps i don't know what that looks like exactly but i will figure it out i will build one we will we will find the technology and i just got an item i got a garbage can well that can go just uh, right here yep looks great looks looks beautiful let's go see what tom nook has to say because i know he's gonna tell us all the tea about that suspicious phone call he likes to spill the tea, but only to me, because I'm special. Boy, you're still on the phone? Is this like an hour-long phone call? I mean, I kind of get it. Whenever I talk to my family on the phone, we always talk for like an hour. So, you know what? It's fine. If Is it is it your cousin, Tom? Is it your little cousin? I get it. Okay, we have three interested parties. Got it. Oh, we get to build the houses, huh? Hmm, my favorite part. Is this Is this the part where I do all of it? Is it Tom? I love the options. Of course, I guess. Or as if I have a choice. <laughs> We're aware. We're getting sentient now. <laughs> Alright, so we gotta do our bridge. Totally forgot about that. What do you need? A log, sticks, clay, and stone. Okay. That's not that bad. Oh, hello, cat. Are you are you just chilling? Can I chill with you? Is this allowed? How are you feeling these days on Storybook? Like, how's it going? Like, just be honest with me. Is that a real gold chain? Because if you own a real gold chain, like why why are you here? Why are you here on a deserted island? I think you deserve better. Cat deserves better. Cat doesn't deserve to live on this 
island that barely gets worked on with like bees stinging everyone it's just it's just not fair i think you know as soon as possible we are gonna let cat move on to like a better location how would you like your log steaks i personally like mine medium well but let me know down in the comments below okay there we go bridge construction kit and let's go place this bad boy i want access to the right side of my island please so i'm gonna go put it there okay let's see if it even fits here i feel like what do i feel like is yep it's not going to okay what about over here this looks like a great spot right right yeah, there we go this is the spot i'm gonna call this bridge um um medium well bridge that's the medium well bridge we d deployed the bridge yep medium well is good to go all right i got the three housing kits let's go i get to place these bad boys i'm ready to put them in the absolute worst places possible it's just it's just my specialty like it's so fun i highly recommend it 10 out of 10 five stars wait we haven't even looked at nooks oh my goodness <laughs> i totally forgot about nooks cranny okay let's go check that out first before we start on this whole house nonsense hello besties oh i'm just i'm just constantly interrupting conversations like people are just always having conversations on this island even though there's only like two of us the way my character stared at her as she walked out that was too funny okay so nothing too interesting i will buy this flamingo three thousand bells i can i can spare them ah, rah, rah. On a feeling, do 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 do. I'm high on manual labor from Tom Nook. Do 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 do. Okay, first housing plot. I say let's put it kind of like up here. This isn't really a bad spot, I guess. Wow, why why are these so huge? I totally forgot about that. Okay, whatever. This is fine. Who's calling me? <laughs> Tom Nook, that you, Raven? You're the one who called me. <laughs> okay, he's just he's just telling me everything I already know. I got this. I got this, Tommy. Tommy Nook. <laughs> Tommy Nook. Let's do another terrible placement. Can I literally fit one right in the back of Nooks? Okay, let me see. If we move to the right a little bit. Oh, we can. Oh, we can. Let's put it. This is a terrible spot. Let's do it. My phone is ringing again. Is it? Hello? Sorry for the repeated calls. You can text. You can text. Oh, I forgot. We don't have fingers. So, you know what? It's fine. You can call me. And last plot. Can we fit it just like on the side of resident services? Like, I don't care. Let, let's just put these things down. Oh, I can. If it's perfectly, that's so funny. Okay, let's do interior items. And uh, I'm going to write them down in my handy dandy notebook just because I forget things because my brain doesn't work. I wrote it down in my uh, scribbles. <laughs> I already feel it right now. I'm gonna have to cut down a lot of wood. So I'm gonna go ahead and make like three axes if I can. Oh wait, can I just buy them in nooks now? Yes, I'm gonna go check. Okay, I can at least buy the flimsy ones. I will take it. 800 bills to not have to go into the crafting menu? It's a steal, it's a bargain, it's a deal. Okay, I bought four of them because like I said, I'm prepared. I have to prepare for the winter, like, we gotta get our firewood ready, I am not gonna freeze to death again, not after last year, that was a disaster. First one down, see, this is why I bought multiples, always gotta have a backup. Okay, this is how we're looking, we got 35 regular wood, look at that, 18 hardwood, 25 softwood, I think we're chilling. So I'm gonna go hit my rocks, because we'll probably need some of that, I think we already need clay for that pitcher. That we need to make so i'm gonna go look for my rocks hello here's one slap oh it's the money rock where are my rocks literally where are my rocks there's the one i just did where are the rest <laughs> i lost them how do you lose your rocks i mean i guess you can't put like a leash on them or a collar or like a chip so actually it does kind of make sense okay time to craft you know technically like would you consider hitting rocks to be mining and if we can mine in animal crossing and we can also craft things in animal crossing does that technically mean that minecraft is an animal crossing think about it think about it think about it first up on the list our wooden simple bed 
but I think it's the wooden chair. All I wrote down was chair, which is very vague. So I'm hoping that it's this wooden chair. <laughs> okay, next, the pitcher. Pitcher this. I just finished crafting a pitcher. Ooh, I need some iron. Okay, let's make these two. Go grab iron, finish crafting, and... Then we're done. Yeah, with the first with the first house, we still have two more. It's too much. It's too much for one lonely little villager and my freaking nubs for hands. You know, like it's too much. I don't have fingers to do this. I don't have help. Like, what are Timmy and Tommy doing? Just like, there's two of them. One of them can run the store. The other one can come and help me. You know, T not obviously not Timmy. Like, he's running his small business. Like, I don't expect him to come help me. But like. Tommy? Okay, here you go. Take your dumb little items that I spent so long on. Balloon. <gasps> okay, hold on. Hold, hold the phone. All of your phones. Hold them tightly. Hold, keep holding. I haven't gotten the balloon yet. Hold on. Okay, you can let go now of your phones. We got a leaf stool. Cute. I need some iron. Hopefully I have some in my storage because I don't know where my rocks are. Like I said, they're gone. I don't know. I gotta go wrangle them up, I guess, but I don't have time today. I'm busy. I have nine iron nuggets. Thank the Lord. House number one is finished. Okay, that, that didn't take long at all. That didn't take me, like, I don't know. I've already been recording for 50 minutes, so. A natural garden chair, natural garden table, and bird bath. Whoever gets this plot is going to feel so much more bougie than the person with the log stuff because like, mm, my stuff is natural. Your stuff is just logs. But while I'm collecting more supplies, how are you guys doing? I hope you're doing good. I hope you're excited for the holiday seasons coming up. I love Christmas. I celebrate Christmas and it's my favorite holiday of the whole year. Um, but I just love the holidays in general. I love the winter time in general. I love the cold air, the nice weather. I just love dressing up in like cozy little outfits because I never can for the majority of the year, you know. And I did buy some Christmas lights last year, so I'm excited to put those up. I still haven't done it yet. Um, I think, I don't know where I'm going to put them yet, but I'm going to put them somewhere because I love Christmas lights. I literally love seeing Christmas lights and like uh, restaurants or like stores that decorate for Christmas are like literally my favorite. Even just driving by them, I'm just like, ah, yes, it's Christmas time. It's the holidays. I'm so excited. But it's so funny because our neighbor literally last year, they put up like, um, like a little Santa decoration on top of their garage and... It's just like something something like super flat and like you don't really notice it, it too much but they literally never took it down last year and it's been up the entire year and j just now it's like oh they're they're already decorated for Christmas because they had the Santa thing up all year round and it was just so funny it's like wow <laughs> you guys really didn't take that down for a whole year but let me know if you guys have any neighbors that do that it's so funny to me it's like I mean you know like it's it's smart in a way like just leave it up the whole year. Ooh, a balloon. And you don't have to do any extra work, I guess. And I guess you could leave it in for, leave it up for multiple years in a row and you just never have to decorate for Christmas again. Okay, we got a little bucket. Cute. More farm aesthetic. But I guess it depends on how big your decorations are. Like a little tiny, like Santa thing, you can get away with that. But like the lit up reindeers in your yard? Probably not. Probably couldn't get away with that. I'm also starving right now and the apples on the trees look so scrumptious and juicy and delicious. I actually have some apple slices in my fridge. I think I'm gonna go eat those as soon as I'm done recording. I go through phases of like being obsessed with apples and like hating them. For the longest time I always said I didn't like apples and cat is right in front of my crafting table. Hello! Excuse me. I needed to catch my breath and just kind of flopped here. What? Get out of the way. I need this. Excuse you. Move. Move, please. I need to craft. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my goodness. That was so rude. That was literally so rude. I'm so glad we're getting rid of Kat. Anyways, <laughs> as I was saying, I go through like cycles of like loving apples and hating them. For the longest time I always said I hated apples, I didn't like them. Then I had some really good like juicy apples from the grocery store and I was like, you know what? Maybe I don't hate them. You know, these are pretty good. And then I went through like a whole obsession phase 
uh, with those specific apples that I got because I got like a whole bag of them and I would chop them up every night and like eat them with like Nutella. Mm so good but i would also just eat them like a normal apple like just biting into the flesh and like i would never do that so i was like what me eating an apple this is crazy i would just like eat it as a snack like what i'm eating an apple as a snack it was it was a phase and now i think i'm getting back into the apple phase because i bought some sliced apples so i wish i could find those specific very delicious apples again i haven't been able to find them again i found them two times and then i never could again so i'm still on i'm still on the hunt for those specific apples i don't remember what they're called i just remember the packaging they're in like a white little carry bag and that's all i remember and what are the chances okay we need an apple chair and a juicy apple tv for these interior items that's hilarious me going on a rant about apples and then we need apple items okay it's because my native fruit is apples that's it's not that deep raven i'm writing down <laughs> i'm writing down <laughs> i just wrote down juicy tv <laughs> juicy tv <laughs> okay let's go make these items and <laughs> stop laughing about juicy tv because it's not funny <laughs> Oh, cat's clapping for me. You know what? Thank you. I'm sorry for pushing and yelling you at you earlier. Like, you're just trying to be supportive. Need to make a pot. Don't have enough clay. Okay. Oh, clay. <laughs> ah, God. Now I need my rocks. Where the heck are my rocks? Okay, here's one. Uh, this one is Jeremy. Say hi to Jeremy. Hi, Jeremy. Please give me some iron. I really, I really need it, buddy. I really need it. Come on. We trained hard. There you go. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Jeremy. Okay, stone is fine. You're doing great, but a little more iron. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was great. Good job, Jeremy. I think I must have accidentally destroyed the other ones when I placed down the plots because I literally can't find anymore. Yeah, I can't find them. I think they're gone. <laughs> We're gonna have to wait three to five business days for me to get them back. Cat, please. Why? 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 You know what? I can just do this. There we go. We gotta outsmart them. We gotta outsmart them. When they're being dumb, we have to be smart. Remember the wasps? Yeah. They're going to jail now. Timmy and Tommy, they're taking care of it. I'm, I'm paying them a little extra for the service, but straight to jail. Okay, yes, we can actually fully pay off our loan and have extra left over. How exciting. And to reward ourselves for all of our hard work, we're going to redeem our Nook Mouse and we're going to go villager hunting. I'm excited. Now, of course, we're only doing a two-ticket hunt and we're taking both. We're taking both villagers that we find. Um, I, I could go get Nook Miles from my other island. I, I could. I could. But it's okay. Like I said, I just need bodies. I just want to go fast. And it'll make it more exciting, you know? Like, ooh, we just take whoever we see. Okay. And here's where I realized I messed up. <laughs> I did some digging because I could not for the life of me figure out why there was no villagers showing up on the island, even though I did all the houses. And I found this little reply on a Reddit thread from a year ago. I think this is accurate. This sounds pretty accurate. But apparently if you filled the houses and you hadn't, found somebody on a Nook Mile ticket island like before you completed the house then it like autofills. I don't really know. Um, this The initial three plots are kind of confusing, not gonna lie. So I decided to time travel to the next day to see if that would fix it because I didn't know what was going on. So <laughs> I literally went to the next day and yeah they autofilled and you'll yeah just watch. Oh okay we got a new neighbor Winnie. Oh my goodness. Wait, I got Winnie? I literally forgot. Like, actually, like, 100% forgot. Did I get Winnie? Yeah, I thought that I had gotten her before and just forgotten, but no. Uh, yeah, she just autofilled, so. Yeah. Is this an autofill? What's going on right now? What's, what's going on, chief? Okay, we have one plot sold to Norma. Wait, what's happening? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> okay. One plot is not finished yet. I still need that one last item. And then, oh, this is, okay, Winnie. Okay, Winnie, Norma, the, 
Okay. Uh, okay, Rod, hi. There's so much going on right now. <laughs> Aw, thank you, Rod. I appreciate it, baby. A little telescope, thank you. I'm literally gonna put it down right here, just for you, just for you. There we go, cute. Okay, one of my rocks spawned right here. Please just give me two pieces of clay, that's all I need. Just, just two, yes, thank you. <laughs> Okay, now we can finish off this plot. And my thinking at the time was maybe it's because I didn't finish all three plots. So maybe if I finish the third one, then a villager will show up on an island. And that was not the case. And I was also so in shock about, like, not in shock, but I was just like, what's going on? Like, I was so confused that I didn't even process that I got freaking Winnie. And I'm actually so hyped about that. So I just wanted to, like, also let you know, I'm very excited about Winnie. She was a dreamy for sure for this island. Like, I was already definitely definitely gonna get her so I'm actually so psyched that she auto filled so yeah <laughs> that is gonna be it for today's video thank you so much for hanging out with me um very chaotic today so yeah I appreciate you sticking around thank you so much if you want to check out my social media my merch anything like that everything will be linked down in the description below uh yeah thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one bye